Hello my butterflies, Jane here and welcome back to Blindly Honestly and if you're new, hello and welcome. I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And as always, make sure you guys please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. So today's video is going to be a fortune teller gypsy look. I have it all set and prepared. I did not do my foundation yet because I'm going to be using a brand new palette that I just received in the BoxyCharm that my friend Gorgrill FX sent me. And that is the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette. Now I'm not sure if this palette is going to have any fallout. And I am just going to be using one shade, which is Hungover. But I'm not sure if there's going to be fallout from it or not, so I'm going to do my foundation last. So, same thing with my Vampirous Countess look. I'm just going to do a speed through this. So, I am already in costume. I'm not going to go extravagant. Um, the only thing I'm going to add extra are some earrings and a head wrap. I already have my bracelets and my necklaces on. So, this is basically a cheap, affordable costume. All you really need is a loose, flowy t-shirt that kind of cuts low. Um really clunky necklaces and bracelets and some makeup and you're good to go. You could do the head wrap. The head wrap is optional. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now. I will put on some really good music for you guys to chill out to and I hope you enjoyed the look. Okay, so that's the eyes. I did have a little difficulty with the Lorely Los Angeles palette. If you noticed, the purple shade Hangover, very, 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 very fallout. It applied like a dream. The color is super pigmented. It is there, but there is quite a bit of fallout. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my foundation because literally this look is just the eyeshadow. So I will do the rest of my foundation. Lashes and liner. I'll speed through all that so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do my foundation like you've seen a hundred times already. For my foundation, I'm actually going to be using my new favorite foundation, which is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. I have a review of this. I did a 24-hour review in Vegas. I have not even touched the footage because I am afraid to edit it, but I, I have it coming. It will probably be at the end of this month when I upload it because I want to get all these SN all these Halloween looks out first. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. I'm also going to be using this Morph Highlight and Contour Palette, Palette Illuminator and Contouring. This is 8L Lo-Fi. And you can see the shades. I honestly use a blend of all three. <laughs> um, I'm still learning how to contour correctly. But this palette, I haven't really messed with the highlights, but these three are my new favorite contour. I have been, I have replaced my Kat Von D contour palette with this one. I got it in Vegas this weekend. I think it was like $23. I'm loving it. So
Okay, so now that my face is done and hopefully I'm all washed out and you guys can see my finished face, I did go very, very subtle with my contour and highlight and I mainly wanted my eyeshadow to be the focus of the look so I didn't go too, too crazy. So I am going to go ahead and do my liner and put on some lashes and the lashes I'm going to put on are going to be these ones right here. These are, these are Mimi from Pinky Rose. They are big and fluffy and I love them and that's why I'm going to use them for this look because I feel like they are just perfect enough for that added oomph. So as you can see, these lashes are huge. I love them. They're just so like spread. They're my, one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and do under my eyes and for I'm going to smoke out underneath my eyes to kind of match my upper crease and not as much as the purple. So I'm going to take Muse, and this is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. And we're going to take Muse and just kind of smoke out that bottom lash. Okay. So we're going to take it. We're going to fold it in, in half long ways. Put that over our head like so. And then we're going to pull it in the back and crisscross. We did it. It only took us about 30 tries, but we did it. <laughs> so now it's time for the rest of our accessories. The first, I'm going to put on some lipstick, and this is Venom by Urban Decay. And it is a very pretty dark purple. All right, now it is time for some accessories, and I'm going to put on some big hoops. I don't normally wear earrings like this, but they're they're kind of necessary for a look like this, you know? And if you do not have big hoops, I got these from the Dollar General for like a dollar, so. And then for a little bit of extra something, I have this really pretty, this is actually a, oh, I forget where I want to put it. So this is actually a bookmark, but it's one of my favorite bookmarks, it's Ravenclaw. So I'm just going to plop this right here so it hangs down like an extra earring and you can see the raven. And then I got my big clanky bracelet and so to stick with the purple look I have these little purple gems. I don't like how those look. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not liking how the beads look. So. Come in, child. Don't be afraid. I will not hurt you. I am simply a humble fortune teller. Dare you seek to see your fortune in the smoke of the afterlife? I see a very, very bright future. But yet... The smoke barely reaches the rim. Shows you are reaching for greatness, but do not quite yet know how to discover it. Do not give up hope yet, child. You'll reach your glory. So that is it, you guys. I had a lot of fun with this look. I did have some difficulty with the scarf and the gems, as you saw, but I finally picked a positioning that I liked with the gems. I had fun doing the little vapor thing, and I'm really bad with accents, so I tried. <laughs> so make sure you guys hit that like button if you like the video. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. I love hearing from you guys. And as I always say, hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And uploads are very, very sporadic at the moment. So yeah. I'm gonna get going. I hope you guys like this video. As always, I wish you lots of love and whiskers. Or as I'm saying for Halloween, I wish you lots of zombie hearts and bat wings. <laughs> so enjoy your night. Have a very spooky evening and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.